Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do another Daily Vibes. The last one I did seemed a little, I don't know, I didn't care for it too much. You know, it's that same old story about, a, you know, a shocking experience that is about to happen. We've all been waiting for it. Obviously, it's going to come when we least expect it. That's how storms happen. That's how destruction happens. That's how disasters happen. It is something that is going to happen uh, spur of the moment. You don't expect it. And all of a sudden, boom. Okay. But anyway, so I'm going to decide I was going to use another deck. And I'm going to use a couple of different decks as well. And we're just going to see what else we can get for a message for the 26th, 27th, 28th, some 29th, whatever. You know, because these daily energies are fluid. Now that I got my chicken in the oven, I can uh, just focus on this reading. So what do we have? What do we have for a message? What do we have for a message in the next coming days? There's a decision that is about to be made. Somebody's at a crossroads and they're really close to making a decision decision whether they want to go back or they want to move forward. It's like there's a there's a forward path and you and you can keep going, okay? You can it, like it leads you right back to where you've been. So that's what I see. It's like or you can choose to go in a different direction entirely. So it's up to you. It's a, there's definitely a moment of decision that is coming up, and I saw that because I saw the two of wands. We have somebody here that is really overwhelmed. They've been having a hard time and, and feeling guilty, you know, feeling guilty for uh, wanting to go in a different direction. You know, you gotta let go of that guilt. If you're be being poked, it's because your God or the universe is poking you, saying, "Follow your heart. Follow your heart. Follow your heart." I feel like we have somebody here that has missed an opportunity. They've missed an opportunity because they were focused on something else that really wasn't fulfilling them. And I think that they were focused on it because whatever whatever it was was probably uh, giving them some sort of attention. But it wasn't the attention that they were looking for. You know what I'm saying? Um, but it was some kind of attention. But I think we got somebody here that is hoping for a renewal or they're hoping, hoping for, um, hoping, is that a word? Hoping for, uh, their wish to be granted. It's like, obviously we all are, right? It's like they, they got some sort of idea. They got some sort of thoughts. Like they know what they want and they're just hoping and wishing that it would just happen as by some sort of act of faith, God, miracle, right? It's like they're wishing that this miracle would just drop, be dropped upon them, right? Uh, like their fairy godmother would show up. But I feel like we, the thing is, is that somebody has to take action and they have to believe. There's a, there's a feeling of believing, believing in a higher power, believing that uh, of magic, believing in magic, believing in yourself. Um, and so we have somebody here that has been lacking that belief, you know, that they can have whatever they want or that they can, you know, renew a situation or they don't believe that there is any hope left. If you don't believe that there's any hope left, then there absolutely is not. But anyhow, let's keep going. What are we? Let's go with that one. Ten of Wands, overwhelmed. We got somebody here that is definitely overwhelmed. We got somebody here that is definitely frazzled. This person is frazzled. They got so much going on. They, there's too much to be done. Not enough time in the day. It's like way too many demands. We have somebody here that is losing it by the looks of things. They're losing it. It's like there's just not enough time to get everything done. So I think we have somebody that maybe uh, may lose their temper. They may get frustrated. They may um, definitely get frazzled in the next couple of days. Um, it's like there's too much going on. Man holding coin. 
So we do have a man here that is holding on to his stability. He hasn't, he's stable, he's secure, he's a hard worker. This could be a banker, this could be somebody that is a business owner. This person um, knows their value and has something valuable to offer. Um, this did come out sideways. It came out like this, so we could have taken it reversed or upright. Um, but this is a challenge. So we have a man that is having a hard time giving so his giving something away. He's probably very stubborn. He could be greedy. This man could be greedy, okay? He could be selfish. He's definitely having a hard time. It, sideways is a challenge. So he is having a hard time. Um, now we could have we could have a man here that is having a hard time holding on to his stability, holding on to his money, holding on to his business, holding on to his uh, financial status. This man may be having a hard time holding on to it. Right now he is still holding on to it, but there could be. Um, you know, there, there's a possibility of losing. There's a possibility of losing something. Something financial, some sort of stability or whatever. We do have somebody here right now that is holding on to something, but... <coughs> Excuse me. There could be a loss of some sort. There's, There could be. There could be. Um, he could be dealing... We could have a man here that is dealing with a woman that is a basket case I'm just being honest with you and this person you know this person may may be costing him money I'm just saying I mean this could be a business owner this could be an employee this could go we could go all day with just these two cards this could be a this could be a husband and a wife we could have somebody here that's that's dealing with a person that is really causing them a lot of problems this person isn't very organized this person uh, seems to get frazzled really easy. This person, it may be burnt out, may be burnt out. And so it may be costing this person money. So we probably have somebody here that is, this person, somebody may be getting fired. Okay. And this could be male or female. They could be getting fired or, you know, demoted or something like that because they just can't handle the, the, the job. I'm just saying, um, hmm. We definitely have somebody here that is overwhelmed. And this man is very uh, much about money. Very much about stability and growth. And so this person may be putting a lot of demands on this person. Not realizing. And this person is just sitting back, you know, and living the good life. Not realizing that whoever they're dealing with has too much on their plate. So, hmm. You know, and, and and if you think about stability, stability comes in many different ways. We could have a, a man that is holding on to a woman that is, uh, it feels like this person is a little bit too much, okay? Just like, can't master their emotions. This person is probably, uh, hard to deal with at times. Flips out, you know? So, and this person, maybe, and this guy might be holding on to this person. It's somebody to hold on to, right? We get that a lot. Anyway, let's get some cards here. What do we got? We used this deck yesterday, didn't we? Or recently. We're going to go with this one. This may have to do with your job. It may have to do with a work situation. We have somebody here that is trying to prove themselves. Uh, we have a hard worker. This person is very skilled at what they do, and they have built themselves up. And they're and they're tr they're still trying to build themselves up. They're trying to build up their abundance. They may be dealing with a person that is bringing them backwards, though. Five of Wands reversed. Now this is a. Uh, I thought about 
this card today when I was in the car. This is playing games. A lot of competition. Extreme competition. Exhausted and fed up. Now this is like in-house fighting as well. So somebody could, there could be a work situation where there's a lot of competition and people fighting with each other. Interesting. There could be a confrontation that is coming up. Death. Death. Now we have this is an ending of some sort. Something is coming to an end. Tens are endings as well. This is a transition, a separation. I, somebody could be losing their job, or this could be a relationship. It's too much. Somebody is dealing with a person that is. It looks like this person isn't very grounded, okay? This person isn't very grounded. This person doesn't organize well. This person uh, is having a hard time meeting demands, can't make demands, can't function. This person can't function. Burnt out. This is the end, though, and this is the end, too. This person just can't do it anymore. It, it feels like... It feels like this somebody is either giving up or they're getting fired. Oh, it's something is definitely coming to an end. And and you know, I wanted to clarify cuz my other reading seemed a little dire, but now we have the 10 of swords in this deck. This is the end. This is a death. This is a, this there is going to be a separation. There's like no Working together. It's like we can't work together. This person is very grounded. This person is not. This person is very easygoing. This person is frazzled. So there's a big difference between people here. It's like these people aren't even compatible with each other. So I think if, you know, we have somebody here that is working really, really hard to obtain success with another person that you know, takes on too much and tries to prove too much and just gets overwhelmed really easy. This person is really hard to deal with. And it's because they just, they just, it's like they can't say no or they take on too much. troubled situation. We have somebody here that has been in a very troubled situation with another person, whether it's at work or it's at home, it's in a relationship and they've been re choosing to not see it. Okay. Choosing to ignore it, choosing to ignore the facts, choosing to ignore that it's already over, that this isn't even working anymore. It's not working anymore. It's really, really, really too much. This part, we have somebody here that just can't do it anymore. And it's like, you got to go. You got to move on. Anyhow, there is going to be a separation. Somebody is going to be separated from something that uh, is basically killing them. It, it is. It's, it's like, this isn't, there's no see and eye to eye here. This is this is this is too there's too much turbulence. There's too many waves. There's there's too much fighting. There's too much competition. There's too many there's too much battling. There's too many demands. There's too many responsibilities. There's there could be deception, okay, with the high priestess reverse. There's secrets. There's lies. Whatever. It, it, it needs to end. It's just, it's just too much. This is way, 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 way too much. Somebody is very overwhelmed with their current situation. The high priestess reversed. That is, uh, we could have, we could have a say. Okay, say we could have a female here that doesn't have any female friends. This person. Um, doesn't listen to advice, has to prove constantly, has to prove themselves constantly. So they take on too much. This person ignores their own needs, 
to fulfill everybody else's. This person is not very spiritual. They focus on proving to society that they can do it all, right? That I can do it all. Well, you can do it all? No, you can't. You're human, you know? So this person is basically living out of their ego if they have to do that. I feel like we have somebody here that is... Um, Lacking inner knowledge, okay, lacking spirituality, really focused on the mundane, focused on uh, social status, and now they've gotten themselves overwhelmed with what life has thrown at them. Anyhow, and I feel like, you know, they, they're un their inability to accept that they need help or accept that they need change... <sighs> is going to cause somebody to make that decision for them. Because I saw the two of wands at the beginning. That's the moment of decision. This is the end. The ten of swords is the end. It's like this is the end. It's like you can't do this anymore. It's too much. Definitely too much. It's like this person was trying to prove so much that they could do it all that they were unaware that it was time to go a long time ago. It was time to go a long time ago. This was over a long time ago. I think there's going to be some sort of confrontation. It's like somebody walks in to this frazzled individual's room or office or home or situation. Their office or whatever it is. And they say, it's like they say, you know what? We can't, we can't do this anymore. And they may use the excuse that it's financial reasons, you know. We have to let you go for financial reasons. That's what they might use for an excuse. Or they may, they may say you're not providing for us financially. You're not, you're not putting in your fair share financially. We definitely have a feminine here that is overwhelmed with her duties. She has too much on her plate. And she's trying to do so much that she is blind. It's like she's un she's blind. It's like she's unaware that this relationship isn't even compatible because she's just trying so hard to prove herself. She's missing things, okay? Whatever this relationship is, there's no emotional fulfillment here. You notice there's no cups. There's no love here. There's no emotional fulfillment. There's there's nothing in it other than stability. That's all it offers is financial gain. Okay? And even then, the job is too much. It's too much. It doesn't bring balance. It, balance. it doesn't bring harmony. It could be causing poor health. It looks like it is. It's like somebody's health is declining by, you know, taking on all this responsibility. So I feel like in the near future, we somebody is either going to get fired or they're going to quit. I think they're going to quit or they're going to get they're going to get fired. It's like that. And somebody is going to see that this is not compatible. And this is a change, okay? Death is a change. It's going to end, okay? So be prepared for a change. These two are not compatible. Good luck.